at the University of Engineering and Management, UEM Jaipur, you can pursue a dual degree, one in the form of a major degree and the other in the form of a minor degree. When you pass out of any course, maybe of four years or three years or two years, you get two degree certificates in hand, one being a major degree, the other being a minor degree. And this is true for all the courses. Let me start with BTEC. In BTEC, for example, you do the major in CSC. You may opt to do a minor in mechanical, which means you become a BTEC CSC engineer but at the end of four years, you also have a minor degree in BTEC Mechanical, which is separate. You may or may not use it. Now, what that means is you are a BTEC CSE engineer comparable to anybody, any BTEC CSE engineer in the world. But in Mechanical also, that minor degree helps you to do certain works in Mechanical and your job market expands. You know, nowadays, all mechanical firms or civil firms or electrical firms, they are getting into automation. Their machines are getting automated. Now to get that done, you need engineers who know mechanical or electrical or civil, but they also need an engineer who can code. Now if you can become an engineer who is a BTEC CSE, definitely you can code and the minor degree in mechanical or civil or electrical will mean that you know the machines. So this is possible anywhere. For example, you can go the other way around also. You may go for BTEC electrical engineering with a minor in CSE. The interesting thing is the course fees remains the same for the major course. For example, you have taken BTEC electrical as major and BTEC CSE as minor which means again at the end of four years, you get BTEC electrical major degree and you get the BTEC CSE minor degree, a separate degree to different degrees you get. But the course fees remains the same as that of BTEC electrical. It is the same course fees which you have pursued for the major degree. This is really a good thing. And I believe that this will really help you. Now, one more important thing I will tell you as far as BTEC is goes, BTEC goes in BTEC CSE, as I said, you don't need to pay anything separate for the BTEC mechanical uh, mine or BTEC uh, CSE or mechanical or civil, whatever BTEC minor you take, you don't need to pay anything for that. But there is an option through which you can do the BTEC minor from TCS in association with TCS or IBM or companies like SAS. That is also an option. There you will need, if you opt for that sort of minor, where you get the minor degree in association with industry, there you will need a little bit need to pay a little bit extra which needs to be paid to the respective companies otherwise the minor degree remains absolutely free these are the courses these are the papers being shown to you these papers actually this uh, papers you need to learn in the different semesters extra in order to get the minor degree for example if you do btech mechanical minor apart from btech csc then in BTEC CSE, you need to learn all the papers that are normally you need to learn in BTEC CSE. But these extra papers, you need to learn every semester extra. That is about nine papers extra you will have to learn in BTEC Mechanical. You will be taught these nine papers so that you get the BTEC Mechanical minor degree. For BTEC, for the BBA, MBA, all these are true. In BBA also, you can do the BBA where you get a major in, say, digital, digital business and you get a minor say in marketing. So that is option, that option is also there in BTEC, uh, in BBA. And a BBA student also is eligible to get two degrees at the end of his or her three years. As far as MBA is concerned, you don't need major and minor. You can go for two majors. You can choose one out of marketing, finance, systems, anything uh, or HR. Out of these four, you can choose any two and go for a major degree uh, in both of them. You get two degrees, both are major degrees. So these are the features you get in the University of Engineering and Management, UEM Jaipur.